Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to give you four easy steps you can use to break down, debug, and understand any DAX measure. And those steps are I C A N. I can, because if I can understand filter context, you can too. Let's get going. A quick recap of content we have already covered in previous lessons. First of all, there's always this magical element in any measure. When it says sales is a sum of sales amount, this part is always implied that it's in the current filter context. And then we also saw how we can be the detective and detect the incoming filter context. It can be affected from multiple sources. And lastly, we had looked at some of the rules and some specific concepts, relationships, row context, transitions, etc. If you need a refresher, go back and review those lessons. They're linked in the details. But what we want to do for this lesson here is to stitch it all together in four easy to remember steps. We're going to use a relatively simple example that we are familiar with. But once you have the four steps, you can apply it to more challenging examples. Let's look at step one, incoming filters, detect the incoming filters. And remember, the rule is always that you focus on a single cell. Each cell is calculated independently. So when you're trying to understand a measure, pick out a specific cell. And in this case, that's the, the highlighted cell we have selected. And for this one, we can say that the incoming filter is territories country equals United States. Remember, always try to think off in terms of table column equals value. So that's step one. And the next step, calculate does its magic. So calculate steps in. It has uh, this um, customer gender equals F here. Of course, this could be anything that calculate could pass in. But in our example, it's simply customer gender equals F. So that gets added to the filter context. The calculate does have two side rules, which we have already reviewed, but I'll quickly mention them, he them here. Calculate overrides incoming filters. For example, in this case, when the incoming filter says customer gender equals M and calculate says customer gender equals F, guess who wins? It's the magic wand. Calculate wins. And that's why in the cell, it's actually showing uh, the sales to female customer gender equals F. And the second rule to remember is if a row contest row context exists, calculate transitions that into a filter context. And we have seen that in the example of our calculated column and the sales LTD measure. And again, remember this part uh, measures always act as if wrapped inside a calculate. All right. So with that in mind, let's keep going. So the third step is to apply the relationship or the filters flow across the relationship. And, and gosh, this is where all the action is. If this were not to be the case, then really any of this wouldn't impact our sales table, but because by the virtue of relationships, which are really filter transmission wires, the filters get transmitted. And again, this happens uh, by the mechanism of the key. So in here, it filters customer gender equals F, but that in turn filters the customer key and that is transmitted by a relationship, filters the sales customer key and hence the sales table. Also keep in mind that relationships can have bi-directional filtering. So filters can flow in both direction depending on uh, the cross filter setting. In this case, right now, it's only one directional. And the last step, that's easy. Do the numbers. So now we have a table with the current filter context, which is nothing more than simply a filtered set of rows. Uh, so in the end, we end up with a sales table filtered on the customer key, filtered on the sales territory key. And all we have to do is sales, which is the sum of sales amount, is just go to the sales amount table and sum it all up in the current filter context. Again, this is you know, exactly similar to how if we were to do it in Excel, if you were to take that table and filter the customer key, filter the sales territory key and sum it up. So filter context is simply a filtered set of rows. And that's it. So those are the four steps. Now go ahead and apply it to some challenging examples. 
We're gonna link to a few of them in the details as well. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.